All right, what's up guys? It's Parth Anon back here with another video. And today we're gonna be talking and going through my entire gaming collection. I hope you guys are doing good, staying safe during coronavirus. But yeah, that's what today's video is about. We're just gonna go through my gaming collection and uh, you guys can see all the different games and consoles I've had throughout my entire life. So uh, basically, my PlayStation 1 is downstairs in the basement. So we're gonna go downstairs right now and uh, we're gonna get my PlayStation 1 and bring it back up here. So let's see how it is. All right, let's go. All right, going down. Let's get this PlayStation 1. Let's see what condition it's in, guys. Turn on these lights down the stairs and it should be right here inside this box all right here we go playstation one reveal oh there it is guys dang it's looking good after all these years but gonna have to bring this bad boy back up look at that this is a classic first ever console that i ever owned and it's still in good condition so that's a good thing all right let's bring it up look at this playstation one i can't even believe it was still down there but i mean everything still works all right we're gonna see if it still opens the disc Oh my god, it had a classic Spider-Man game in here too. This is like the original game for Spider-Man 1, and it's on PlayStation 1, so I, I didn't even know this was still in here. I haven't looked at this PlayStation for years, and I, I, it's unbelievable that it was still down there. Still has the disc opening, and everything else is still looking good on it as well. This is a classic, guys. PlayStation 1 is what started gaming for me and almost everyone else. Unless they got an Xbox or something like that. But, you know, now we're just going to go through the games that I've had for PS1. So, my favorite game on the PlayStation 1 was uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped right here. This is the third game of the three-game series. And literally, this is literally one of the best games I've ever played. One of my favorite games. And I'm sure everyone else loves it, too. But I just love the entire Crash Bandicoot series. And that's why I also got two other games from it right here. I got Crash Bash. And I also got Crash of the Titans. Unfortunately, this one is scratched up real bad and doesn't work anymore. But uh, this game was amazing. I loved it. All right, I also got A Bug's Life. Also, one of the first games that I ever bought from a store called Game Crazy, if you guys know what that is. I don't know if you're old enough to know, but Bug's Life. You got Rat Attack, and this is just like a random game. Don't know why I bought it. And then here we go, wrestling games. So... I used to be obsessed with wrestling, so I have so many wrestling games you guys will see throughout my collection, and this is one of the old classic ones for PlayStation 1, WCW vs. World, again, WCW vs. Nitro, this is like 90s wrestling stuff, WWE Smackdown, man, I remember this game, it's uh, so many hours that I've played on it, so many wrestlers, look at this, it's just classic, and then NASCAR, you know, racing game, just for fun. I got a few car games in here as well. And then look at this. Fox Sports Soccer, 1999, the year I was born. So, this game is pretty good too. I played it a few times. And NBA Shootout. Now, this is a pretty good game as well. This game, I used to play a lot. And uh, usually, it's way harder to make a shot in games from the old times. Because there's no, like, green light that we have in uh, 2K these days it's just like you wing it you either make it or you miss it and it depends on your shooters but the bulls are the go-to team to play in this game and uh, that's pretty much it for my playstation one game collection so let's move on to the next console so the next console we got is the playstation 2 that was the console that i bought after i had the ps1 and this is i gotta say by far my favorite console i had so many games on it so many hours played on it and uh the funny thing is I used to play PlayStation 2 like two, three years back when I didn't have a PS4. So I used to play this thing all the way throughout like 2017. And I used to be buying games from it in 2017 on uh, Amazon that were used just to play games on this PS2. So literally one of my favorite consoles, if not the best console that I've ever had. So here we go. Let's show you the PS2 and its games. So here we go. We got the PlayStation 2 right over here. Classic Slim Edition, not the big thick one that a lot of other people had and then let's see if the disc still opens right here bang there you go this still opens and now let's just review all its games that i've had for it so here we go playstation 2 games midnight club 
see another car racing game. So funny story about Midnight Club. Uh, me and my sister just used to play the split screen on Midnight Club and we used to like just race each other's cars and like crash into each other and all that. So this was a good part of my childhood right here. And then uh, I didn't really play this much. This is just Gran Turismo GT. I don't know if you guys like that, but yeah. Here we go. The wrestling game. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. Like one of the best wrestling games that I've ever bought. Like this just combined the two... Uh, you know, rosters on uh, both wrestling uh, shows, and you could play with any wrestler that you wanted, and, you know, this was an awesome game that I used to play during the old times a lot. 2009 was my favorite SmackDown vs. Raw wrestling game because of the road to WrestleMania that it had. I was just so obsessed with wrestling, man. I have so many wrestling games to the point where I bought this game for a second time, guys. So this got so badly scratched up and I wanted to play this in like 2016 where I bought another game of it and watch this I'm gonna open this and there you go you have another game in there I bought this twice just to play it twice so that's how much I like this game right here uh, moving on I had Harry Potter you guys are gonna see I have one more Harry Potter game for the PlayStation Portable and this is just a Quidditch World Cup game. So, you know, just a fun invented sport by the Harry Potter. And Sonic. I got two Sonic games here. Shadow the Hedgehog. This is a pretty sick game, but I don't remember much of it because this was also badly scratched up. That's the thing about this PS2 games. They get scratched up a lot. So, Shadow the Hedgehog. This Sonic game. So many old classic selections on here. I'm a big Sonic fan. So, this had like almost every single Sonic game in history on it. And it, was, it had arcade games and all that stuff. So this is a pretty good game. And then one of the first story games that I've ever played, uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong, you know, with the gorilla and all that adventure stuff. This is an awesome game, you know, first person shooter game at times. And it's based on the movie. So I really like this game. Shootout. This got scratched up too, but this is a really good game. You get to play with like, Carmelo Anthony and all the classic ballers from like 2004, 2005, whatever year it was. Yeah, 2005. And yeah, it's just a good basketball game. I I, I think everyone loves street ball. This game is amazing. So like the concept of it is it was like 2K, but even better maybe. And this game, guys, this game. Okay, so I think it was third grade. A kid sold me this game on, on an auction day that we had at school. And I got finessed because this game was so scratched up. It didn't even work. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This game works, man. Don't worry about it. I go home. I put it in. doesn't work. So I got finessed. Two other games that I have right here. Madden 08. My favorite Madden game, guys. This Madden game I bought twice because my first one got scratched up. But this is one of my favorite Madden games. So easy to play. And I got the disc for it right there, too. Um... Ratchet and Clank, I'm a Ratchet and Clank fan as well. I have another Ratchet and Clank game, but I bought this for PS2 in 2017 because I wanted to play. But recently after that, I got a PlayStation 4. So this game was basically, I haven't played it since. And Spider-Man, you guys saw the Spider-Man one for PS1 that I had. Um, now this is Spider-Man for PlayStation 2. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan as well. And I bought this in like 2017 as well. I completed the game. That's how much I loved it. And, you know, I just love Spider-Man. You guys are going to see I have one more Spider-Man game as well. Because I love Marvel and I love uh, Spider-Man. He's uh, one of the best superheroes. And the Spider-Man games are awesome. Like, look at this on the cover. It's just a really great game. And moving on to the next system. Oh, and sorry, by the way, guys. I forgot to show you the controller for the PlayStation 2. But I still have the PS2 controller. Here it is right over here. Right there. My bad. These are my next systems that I'm going to be looking at. That's the PS2 controller, but next two systems that I bought, guys, I'm sure everyone has had it, a PlayStation Portable. This is one of the best handheld devices that Sony ever invented for PlayStation, and I had four games for this, and we're going to go through those next, and we're going to go through PS Vita as well. I only had one game for that, but let's go, PlayStation Portable games, here we go. So, of course, guys, starting off, first game that I had for PlayStation Portable, PSP. Smackdown vs. Raw, 2010. I believe I had 2011 as well. That might be inside of it. Who knows? But uh, 
2010 Spectrum Super. I just loved wrestling games. I was obsessed with wrestling, so I always got those ones. Harry Potter, right here. And the Half-Blood Prince. This is an amazing adventure game, guys. The storyline for it is amazing. And this Harry Potter movie is incredible. It's one of my favorite Harry Potter movies. So I had to buy the game for PSP. And that's the reason I bought this game. Because it's different and I like it. Uh, Ratchet & Clank is back. Here we go, Ratchet & Clank. But this is Size Matters. And this is one of the greatest hits for PSP. So... Yo, guys, I just love the concept of a PSP. Like, look at this small disc for this small handheld device. It's just awesome. The last game that I had for PSP, here we go, Grand Theft Auto. And this is, I believe, Liberty City Stories. I have one other GTA game you guys will see. But, you know, Grand Theft Auto is pretty cool. It's awesome. But the main game that I played on this PSP right here, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, we're going to open the back. We'll, let's see if it has a game in here. Look at that, guys. I was not wrong. I kid you not. I didn't look at this before I showed it on camera. And look at what this is. This is 2011. I told you guys. I love these wrestling games. I was obsessed with it. But yeah, good to know that this still works right here. PSP, you guys. Looking good. Moving on. PS Vita. All right. What happened to my PlayStation Portable was that, you know, I tried to download a lot of stuff on it. I tried to change, like, the script on it online with, like, games and stuff. I was doing crazy stuff with it, and it just got bricked, so it stopped working after that. My PS Vita, I only had one game. The best part about it was that it was touchscreen, but this also broke, and it doesn't work because the LCD screen on it cracked. I do not know if you could see it right there. There's a crack right there. And, uh... The thing about this was that I only had one game on it, so let me try to get that with one hand. Um, and it was Call of Duty. The game that I had was Call of Duty for the PS Vita. So just one game on here. Not a lot of years that I played this. Maybe two or three years. And the best part of it, about it was that it had touchscreen and it had internet. So it was kind of like an uh, iPhone, iPad type thingy ipod my bad but this is the one game that i had on it the call of duty black ops declassified for playstation vita only game i've had then it broke but the graphics on it everything about the ps vita is pretty insane it's just like a touchscreen version of this psp and that's like the only difference with it but this was 300 dollars when i bought it i remember that but now both of these are broken which sucks because i had some cool games for them are you guys ready it's time for the last system Reveal. Last console reveal and it's games, guys. What is it going to be? All right, guys. One, two, three. Bang. It's a PlayStation 4. Could you guys imagine if it was an Xbox or something? Like, yo, I had all these PS consoles and then an Xbox. That would be crazy. But now we're going to go through the PlayStation 4's games and put on my glasses, guys. This is a gaming video, so I have to have my glasses on all right so let's just get right into these playstation 4 games and the ps4 console this playstation 4 bought it two years ago in 2018 this is the latest console that i ever bought and it's the slim you know 1000 tb version and you know i had i got the slim ps4 and i also got you know the slim ps2 so i like getting the slim consoles there's less weight they're more efficient but you know, I love PS4. Obviously, it was revolutionary. The graphics were insane. And uh, now we even got a PS5 coming out. But, you know, this is an amazing console. Revolutionary. Changed gaming forever with its graphics and its controller. Which doesn't even need any wires with it. But, PS4 right here, man. And then for the games, I got... Crash, Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy. I had to get the trilogy because for the PlayStation 1, guys, I had the third game. You know I had the third game. And I had Crash Bash and I had Crash of the Titans. So I had to get the trilogy. So here's the trilogy. It's my first game. I love this. I'm still on the first game. I finished the third one and I haven't started the second one because first game is hard, man. This game is so hard. You know if you've played it. This game is hard, addicting, but fun. Madden 16, another Madden game. I love this because I'm a Denver Broncos fan, and this was the year the Broncos won the Super Bowl. 
So I just play as the Denver defense and Peyton Manning. That's why I have this Madden game. The graphics are obviously insane and better than Madden 08. It's better than anything I've ever seen. So that's that. Another Grand Theft Auto game. I was on the story mode for this and then I stopped playing it for a while. But uh, this game's pretty cool. You know, Grand Theft Auto is just always fun. Free roam. Stories are amazing. GTA 5. You know how it is, guys. You know the vibes. And here we go. The best game for PlayStation 4 that I have. Spider-Man. You know I love Spider-Man. You've seen the other two Spider-Man games. This Spider-Man game is so cool. The story is better than any other Spider-Man game that I've ever played. The controls for it, and I mean, like, the combat is just awesome as well. I'm almost done with this game. I've, I'm playing it right now, and, uh, yeah, this is right. I'm almost done with this game. I just have a little more to finish, and then I'll basically be done with it. But, guys, there you have it. My entire game collection. Now I'm just going to organize some stuff and put it together. You guys are going to see how awesome this gaming connection collection looks, so... Let's do it. So I just organized all my games that I've had that are similar on different consoles. So these are all continuities. Look at that. GTA, PSP and PS4, Crash Bandicoot, all the games that I've had for it. Spider-Man on PS1, PS2, and PS4. By the way, guys, I did not get a PlayStation 3. I don't know why. I didn't see the appeal for it. And I just rather played on my ps2 because it was awesome but there's my madden games harry potter two games that i've had for it smackdown versus raw four games that i've had for it look at that and ratchet and clank two games ps2 psp so look at all those continuities that i've had guys right there pretty awesome stuff and now my consoles, guys. Here we go. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PSP, PS Vita, and PS4. Look at those. All the consoles that I've owned. All the game collections that I have. Pretty awesome organization. So basically, there it is, guys. My gaming collection. Alright, so there you guys have it. My entire gaming collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like share it you know comment on it tell me which game was your favorite if you made it to the end of the video that i showed on my video tell me which one is your favorite game and uh thanks for watching and by the way guys thank you and i appreciate you for 500 views on my shaving my beard during you know the virus video it almost has hit 500 views so i appreciate that and i really hope you guys enjoy this video leave video suggestions in the comments and i appreciate you all thank you guys take care peace I'm out. It's Parthenon. If the kid who auctioned me that baseball game is watching this video, bro, give me my $3 back. It's 2020, man. Come on, Arthur. This is not a game, bro.